True Memoirs of an International Assassin is a Netflix original movie that stars Kevin James and Kevin James only. No one of his friend group is in this movie, surprisingly. David Spade's not here, Adam Sandler's not here, Rob Schneider's not here, he is all by himself. It's actually a pretty cool concept of a guy who writes international assassin novels, and he wants to sell them, it's not very successful with it, until one person changes the title to True Memoirs of an International Assassin, and it sells like crazy. It is now considered a non-fiction book, and people actually think that he is an international assassin. So a group of bad people bring him to another country to assassinate their president because they think that he is an international assassin. Now, the concept is pretty funny because it's Kevin James. Could you really see Kevin James as an assassin? because he's fat. So when I heard of the story and saw the trailer, I was laughing not at what I was seeing, but laughing at the concept. And unfortunately, that's the only good thing about this movie is the concept that was pretty cool, but it didn't live up to what I was expecting or wanting from it. It's not like this movie tried to be funny and was unsuccessful and just really stupid. It just did not try. It is a very dull film that did not have many jokes, had some action that was okay, but overall this film is not very memorable. It's just a film that just went straight through it, um, hardly any jokes, and it seemed like Kevin James was a bit toned down in here. He wasn't running around being all crazy. He was actually trying to be an assassin and live up to what he writes about, which I thought was pretty cool, but, you know, it's Kevin James and it's considered a comedy. I would expect some comedic moments. The film is just very dull. It's very unexciting. Like I said, the concept is pretty interesting. I think that it's something fresh. Its execution and the route it took is just not what I was hoping for. It's a very lifeless film and Kevin James just seems like he's there. Um, he seems like he's having fun, but they're just not attempting many jokes. And I admire Kevin James for who he is. He's not like the best actor alive. I'm never gonna see him get an Oscar, but I admire him for who he is, if that makes sense and I was expecting some more energetic comedic moments coming from Kevin James. And it's a bummer because I've been enjoying some of Netflix's original movies like The Ridiculous Six and The Do-Over. Surprisingly, I thought they were pretty funny, but here, I don't know, maybe it's just because he was by himself. Maybe he needs that support group to just really, really bring out the comedic moments. So we'll go ahead and give True Memoirs of an International Assassin a D+. Have you guys seen True Memoirs of an International Assassin starring Kevin James on Netflix? If you guys have, what did you think about it? Do you, do you guys think this is the place for Kevin James and Adam Sandler and David Spade? Because outside of Netflix, they are very unsuccessful. They are just a train wreck uh, in the box office and with the critics. And I think that this could be their home to where they could do whatever they want and just have fun with it, I guess. So, this is Just Watches Movies. And you stay classy, YouTube.